Praise God, praise God. I want to welcome everybody on tonight on this live webinar, Word with Power with Pastor Sean and Amy Pinder. I believe God is going to do some awesome things on tonight. I believe God have great things in store for every single person that's on this live webinar on tonight. Amen. Tonight we're talking about, I think I ought to make you wait before I say it. <laughs> I tell you, tonight, we're actually talking about he's working it out for you. This entire week, we are focusing on your trouble has God's attention. This entire week, we are focusing on your trouble has God's attention. And I just want to invite everybody to this live webinar. I want to encourage you to wait to the end because... The first 30 minutes, we're going to just teach and preach the word of God. And after that 30 minutes, we're going to begin to take people's prayer requests and lift them up before God. And I believe the Holy Ghost is going to do some powerful things on tonight. My spirit is stirred up. I'm excited the Holy Ghost have me stirred up. He have great things for his people tonight. Let's just go to God in prayer right before we jump into the word of God. Father God, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God, I lift your people up before you. God, you've spoken to my heart that your people, their trouble, it has your attention. And I pray on tonight, God, that somebody on this webinar, not just one person, but I pray that every single person would receive a breakthrough tonight. I pray that every single person would receive a miracle from God. I pray that everyone on this webinar tonight would experience the supernatural turnaround that you spoke to my heart that you're going to be performing in the hearts and lives of your people in the year of 2014. But I pray God that before this webinar come to a close on tonight, I pray to God that somebody would enter into their breakthrough. I pray that somebody would enter into their supernatural turnaround. God, we welcome your presence. We welcome the anointing of the Holy Spirit to flow through everybody's computers and their cell phones and touch them tonight bring encouragement bring strength lift every weight in the name of jesus christ we pray come on somebody say amen uh, come on say it again somebody say amen i feel the holy ghost glory to god listen let's let's go right into the book of exodus chapter 2 like i said we focus in this entire week that your trouble has God's attention. That's the main focus. But every night, we're going to specifically focus on something different. Tonight, we are focusing on he's working it out for you. Can somebody shout amen? Because somebody on this webinar tonight, you need God to work it out for you. He's working it out for you. Let's go right into the book of Exodus chapter 2 from verses 23 through 25. I want you to listen to the word of God. The Bible says in verse 23, and it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt, he died. Glory to God. Some stuff that's been troubling you about to die tonight. It says in the process of time that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel, they sighed by reason of the bondage and they cried, and their cry came up unto God by reason of the bondage. Tonight, we are talking about he's working it out for you. This entire week, we focusing on your trouble has God's attention. Verse 24 of Exodus chapter 2 says, and God heard their groaning, and God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. Verse 25 says, And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. Glory to God. Our first point is this. You have God's undivided attention. You've been crying out to him. You've been pressing in. You've been exercising your faith. Some of you have been hanging on by a thread. But I got good news for somebody tonight. Help 
is on the way. Uh, did you hear what I say just now? I said help is on the way. Why don't you just repeat those words after me? Just let it come from out of your mouth. Let it come from up out of your spirit. I want somebody to repeat those words. Help is on the way. Now, the first thing I want you to realize here, I'm going to point out five things that, that took place within, in, within Exodus chapter 2 from verses 23 through 25. The first thing the Bible says is that they cry and their cry came up unto God by reason of their bondage. What is that saying to us tonight? The Holy Spirit want me to tell you, your cry has came up to God. God has heard your cry. Glory to God. I, I tell you what, he's about to do something next. So, so the Bible says their cry, it came up unto God. The Bible says God also heard their groaning. Some people that's on this uh, live webinar tonight, some of you couldn't even cry. You've just been groaning in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. The Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 26, when we know not what to pray for as we ought, the Bible says the Holy Ghost maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Romans 8, 27 says, and he, and he that knows the will of God, he makes intercession according to the will of God. And verse 28 says, and we know, glory to God, and we know that all things, it worketh together for good to them that love God, to those that are called according to his purpose. I want you to know tonight that it's working together for your good. Come on, why don't you let those words come up out of your mouth. Let it come from up out of your spirit. I want you to repeat those words. Whatever I'm going through, it's working together for my good. I don't care how it looks like the devil's about to wear you out. It might even look like you're not going to get the victory, but the devil is a liar. It's working together for your good. So in the book of Exodus chapter 2 verse 23 through 25, the Bible says they cried and their cry came up to God by reason of their bondage. That problem that you have been facing that have you groaning that have you crying out to God God wants you to know tonight that he has heard your cry not only did he hear their cry but the Bible also says that God remembered his covenant that he had made with Abraham with Isaac and with Jacob do you know tonight that by faith we are the children of Abraham by faith we are the seed of Abraham and I want you to know tonight that God God is remembering his covenant that he made with his people. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 89, verse 34, the Bible's God says, my covenant will I not break, nor will I change the thing that has gone forth out of my mouth. Whatever God have declared over your life, he's not going back on it. He is not taking it back. He hasn't changed his mind. He wants you to know tonight that it's about to come to pass. He is about to work it out on your behalf. He is about to work it out in your life. He is about to work it out in the very situation and the circumstance that you are facing right now. Listen to what else the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 2 verse 23 through 25. The Bible says he remembered his covenant. Then also the Bible says and God looked upon the children of Israel. The Bible says God looked upon the children of Israel. He wants you to know tonight that he is looking at you right now. You are the apple of his eyes. You are wonderfully and beautifully made. I don't care what negative words have been spoken over your life, that you are a failure and that you are not going to amount to anything. The devil is a liar. Let me just take a few minutes here to break every negative word spoken over your life. I break every curse that has been spoken over your life by people in a authority. I declare in the name of Jesus that you are set free from every negative word, every negative attitude, from every negative judgmental spirit, every critical spirit, every 
demon of limitation, I declare tonight that it's broken from over your life. Come on, somebody, go on ahead and give God. God, some praise. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost being released on your behalf right now. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. When God destroy this next thing in your life, the devil ain't going to be able to put it back together again. He ain't going to be able to shackle you again. Are you listening to me? He ain't going to be able to torture you. He ain't going to be able to torment you ever again. He ain't going to be able to place limitations on your life ever again. Glory to God. Not only did he look on them, but the Bible says said he had respect on them. That means that God was looking at them with serious discernment and strong, very thoughtful consideration of what his people were dealing with. Their bondage, it had his attention attention. Are you listening to me? I said their bondage had his attention. And when your bondage, when your cry comes up to God and it get his attention, he is not just going to sit around and twiddle his fingers. When you get God's attention, he is going to begin to move in your behalf. He's going to begin to move in your marriage. He's going to begin to move in your family. He's going to begin to move in your finances. Can Somebody shout glory. I feel the Holy Ghost here. Glory to God. Let's move right on. Let's go to Exodus chapter 3 verse 8. Because I want you to realize this. When you get God's attention, he goes into motion on your behalf. So Exodus chapter 3 really starts off with explaining to us how God interrupted Moses' life. And see, that's the thing. That's the sign to you that your cry has God's attention. He will interrupt a man. He will raise them up. He will make them set time aside to minister to you because God is wanting you to be encouraged. He wants your faith to stay strong. Jesus said to the apostle Peter, he said, Simon, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith it failed not. So God appeared to Moses in the burning bush and he said to Moses in verse 8, glory to God. He said, and I am come down. He said, I want you to know, Moses, I have heard the cry and the affliction of my people Israel. I've seen their travail. I've seen their bondage. And I, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, a land large, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. So our second point is this. This is God's action plan for your deliverance. The first thing God said is that I am come down. Glory to God. He didn't send, he didn't send Elijah. He didn't send Abraham, but God said, I am come down. I am come down represents you are, you are entering into a season of divine visitation and anointing and the presence and the blessings of God. God, are you hearing me? This webinar represents a visitation of God in your life tonight. That's why some of you can feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Some of you can feel the atmosphere around you is shifting. That's a sign. That's a sign, brother. That's a sign, sister, that you are, you are entering as of this night into a fresh visitation from heaven. You are entering into a fresh move of God. Tell the devil he is about he is about to lose full control over your life, full control over your finances, full control over your marriage, full control over your children, full control over your job. You are entering in to a divine visitation of the Holy Ghost. The second thing is, here's what else that reveals a part of God's action plan. He said, I am come down not just to visit, but I'm come down to get busy. I've come down to perform a supernatural thing in your life. He said, I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And God want you to know tonight that he has come down in your life.